Cardinal Consalvi was honest broker, man of faith who withstood Napoleon. As Rome's venerable English college hosts a symposium to celebrate Cardinal Ercole Consalvi, Archbishop Paul Richard Gallagher calls the 19th century Vatican diplomat a man of great faith and humanity who reveals the Church's relevance for our own challenging times. The seminary in Rome preparing English and Welsh men for the priesthood is perhaps not an immediately obvious choice of venue to host a symposium celebrating the bicentenary of the death of Italian-born Cardinal Secretary of State Ercole Consalvi. Yet, the connection was proved solid on the evening of 24th of January. We treat Cardinal Consalvi as our second founder, said Father Stephen Wang. Rector of the Venerable English College. After Napoleon Bonaparte invaded Rome in 1798, his troops ransacked the Vec and forced the students to return to England. It was thanks to the support of Cardinal Consalvi, 1757-1824, that the college's property and patrimony were conserved until its re-establishment 20 years later in 1818. Cardinal Consalvi is really important for us here at the college, affirmed Father Wang, in an interview with Vatican News. Bicentenary of Consalvi's death. Cardinal Consalvi formed the focus of attention for several historians and Vatican officials attending the Consalvi in the United Kingdom Symposium. Hosted by the Venerable English College and organized by the British Embassy to the Holy See, the three-hour conference was part of a series of events that filled the day, which began with Holy Mass celebrated by Cardinal Secretary of State Pietro Parolin at the Church of San Marcello al Corso, where Cardinal Consalvi is buried. The day wrapped up with a concert entitled Power, Patronage and Diplomacy, held at the Basilica of San Lorenzo and Damaso. Consalvi's negotiations with Napoleon. He is not a priest. He is a wolf in sheep's clothing. That remark was the backhanded compliment which Napoleon made about Cardinal Consalvi at their last meeting, just before the French emperor was exiled to Elba. Yet, his words rang true, Cardinal Consalvi was never ordained a priest. After Pope Pius VII made him his Secretary of State in 1800, he was ordained a deacon and therefore wore the customary ecclesiastical garb, including a cassock of woven wool. Cardinal Consalvi was also astute and determined in his negotiations with Napoleon on behalf of the Pope, which resulted in the Concordat of 1801. Later, after Napoleon exiled Pope Pius VII to Savona, in 1809, Cardinal Consalvi was taken to Paris, along with twelve other cardinals. They became known as the Black Cardinals after they were stripped of their property and ecclesiastical status. Cardinal Consalvi endured five years of imprisonment, until his release in 1814. Man of faith dedicated to serving Pope and the Church. He was prepared to suffer for his beliefs and the things and people to whom he was committed, according to Archbishop Paul Richard Gallagher.